Hi, I'm Joe Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to use the pitch shifter in BandLab. You can add the pitch shifter to an audio track or a virtual instrument track. Here, in this tutorial, I will add it to an audio track with a vocal recording on it. Now, double tap on the track header. Tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the pitch shift tab. Then tap on pitch shifter. The pitch shifter changes the pitch of the track recording up or down between one semitone and 12 semitones in one semitone increments. There are 12 semitones to an octave, and each semitone is equal to a key on a piano. You can tap on the bypass toggle to turn off the pitch shifter effect. And you can tap on the play icon at any time to hear how your track sounds. Ha, ha, ha. Tap on the bypass toggle again to turn the pitch shifter effect on again. Ha, ha, ha. Mix sets the volume balance between the original track recording and the pitch shifter effect. Drag the dot on the mix slider all the way to the left and you will only hear the original track recording and no pitch shifter effect. Ha, ha, ha. Drag the dot on the mix slider all the way to the right and you will only hear the pitch shifter effect. Ha, ha, ha. Drag the dot on the mix slider to the middle of the slider to hear both the original track recording and the pitch shifter effect together. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. This can be used to add a single harmony effect to the track. Instead of dragging the dot on the slider, you can tap on the mix text box, type in a number, and tap on save. Ha, ha, ha. Drag the dot on the mix slider to the left to blend the pitch effect into the original recording. Ha, ha, ha. Or drag the dot on the mix slider to the right to blend the original recording into the pitch effect. Ha, ha, ha. Shift sets the pitch of the pitch effect. It is currently set to minus 5ST, so the pitch effect is 5 semitones lower than the original recording. Drag the dot on the shift slider to the right to make the pitch effect pitch higher. Ha ha ha! Or drag the dot on the shift slider to the left to make the pitch effect pitch lower. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. 
input type sets the delay or latency of the pitch effect. Tap on the input type drop list and tap on percussion. This will give a low delay or latency of the pitch effect. <laughs> tap on the input type drop list and tap on vocal for a medium delay or latency of the pitch effect. <laughs> Tap on the input type drop list and tap on general for a high delay or latency of the pitch effect. <laughs> tap on the delete icon if you want to remove the pitch shifter from your effects preset. Finally, tap on the back arrow, then tap on the X icon. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!